Well, hello. Check this out. So, for those of you that don't know, that right there was a Howard Johnson's. Uh, I have not really been, I'm a little young, never got to go to a Howard Johnson's restaurant. Just sort of know the hotel name uh, from Marriott. But I just interviewed a guy named Anthony Samarco, uh, my podcast, Curiosityness, and he uh, wrote a book on the history of Howard Johnson's. And God, it's, it's cool. It's awesome. So I got super stoked on it, was looking around, see if there was any left. This one, there's, so there's one more Howard Johnson's restaurant uh, on the East Coast somewhere. There's only one left. And uh, here, I'm here with, with Murphy here. She's here too. We went on a little trip. We did a little trip today. But, uh, so, but this was the last one that I could really find close to me. It's in Baldwin Park, uh, California. It's actually pretty close to the uh, original and very first uh, in and out which is cool. But look at this thing. It's, so it's obviously it's abandoned. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll have a link to the podcast episode with Anthony so you can listen to the history of, of Howard uh, of Howard Johnson's if you're interested in that. But uh, yeah, I just had to come check this thing out. It's it's quite cool. I, I was not, I didn't know what to expect. I knew it would be closed off, uh, but it actually still looks great. The roof looks kind of red, actually, uh, not quite orange. I think it was repainted because it was actually... Uh, uh, what, is, what was it? A, a Regency Inn and Suites, as you can see there. So it, I think it was about 1995 uh, when this stopped being a Howard Johnson's. It was built in 1969, a 69-room uh, Howard Johnson's Travel Motor Lodge. But uh, yeah, it's still here. So let's go check it out. Let's get a little closer. So it, it was pretty damn exciting to see this thing. It's I've only seen photos of these roofs. This you know. This classic A-frame design here, uh, and this bright orange, I mean now red roof, but it's so iconic because I, I just seen photos of it, but I, I, you know, instantly recognizable. They come off the freeway, it's, you know, of course this is a, a travel lodge, a motorhome, or a, you know, a hotel, so right off the freeway, you see this immediately off the 10 freeway there. So, pretty exciting to right, come across this thing, but look at it, it's awesome! It, I mean, it still looks, you know, pretty good for being abandoned. So, I was doing a bit of history looking on this. I, I think it, this hotel was in operation as a Regency until about 2017. I think there might have been a fire or something. And now it, it looks to be not in operation. There's these, these you know, fence and everything here. But uh, let's just look at this for a sec. This A-frame, huge roof. And what is so cool is it still has the, uh, I believe it's the Simple Simon and the Pyman logo weather vane on top look at that that is so cool still there I, i'm you know in that that classic uh, whole thing on top you know i wonder if i could get that if before this place closes or if they demolish it that's pretty cool and so uh if you just go over here there so there used to be a howard johnson's restaurant right over here right on this platform uh but that was demolished a few years ago completely uh, but that, I guess that was one of the first Howard Johnson restaurants built in the West Coast. You know, one of the one of the first block to be built over here. I think it was 1965 that that was built, but uh, totally gone now. But you can still see the you know, I don't. This is not the original sign. I don't think. Perhaps, but you can see the the Motor Lodge sign and uh, all that, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, now it looks like it's all demolished. I think they're they're planning to build some sort of strip mall on here now. Here, this kind of gives you a good, uh, good perspective of the whole hotel or uh, motor lodge, I should say. But uh, yeah, four stories. Looks like pretty good. 69 rooms in there, I think I believe is uh, what I remember reading. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty big. I, I always had the impression that these were more motels. Uh, anybody who's familiar with this stuff, if is that kind of the standard, uh, you know, architecture building design? Were these four stories like that? Because uh, normally I think of a motel being two stories max and kind of a, a C shape around the, you know, around the parking lot. So anybody that's familiar with that stuff, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to uh, hear about that. And you can't really see inside. They got all, all the blinds closed and, you know, I don't want to get too much in their, in their business in there. But, uh, yeah, not much to see inside. doesn't look like. And I want to give a shout out to highwayhost.org. They have a lot of cool information on all this stuff. That's kind of where I learned everything that I'm telling you right now. Check them out. They have some original photos that people have taken of this exact location. So I, I won't use those because I don't have permission for them. But uh, 
I'll link to them in the description so you can go on there and, and you know look at that stuff yourself. So actually since recording that video I got in touch with uh, the the proprietor of highwayhost.org and he said go ahead and you know share the photos and, and everything like that so I'm gonna do that real quick so uh, this is highwayhost.org again the link will be in the description go check it out yourself but look at this uh, look at these photos so this is a 1960s postcard of the of this Howard Johnson's and there's the uh, weather vane here's it in the 80s you can see it's kind of changed not changed a bunch actually um, but here you can see where they kind of changed the roof to red, from orange to red, you know, and it kind of became that Regency. So there's some interior stuff. Uh, you can see that old sign and everything. This is pretty cool. I won't go through this too long, but, uh, oh, here you can see this is the original restaurant that was there. So there's the hotel and the restaurant that's now demolished. Um, so there are three pages to this too. You kind of got to look for that closely, but, uh, man, this is just so cool. I love that all this stuff is still on here. Look at this old postcard. There's the pool. I just saw that pool. Interior shots. So, okay, I'll just leave it at this. There's a third page, too, real quick. Um, so don't don't miss all that stuff. So go on there and check it out, uh, highwayhost.org. Also, sorry about the audio on this video. Now that I'm editing it, I've, I'm hearing that the audio is not that great. So I'm going to work on it for the next videos. It should get better. But uh, So sorry about that for this video. Uh, now, back to the video. So we'll walk up a bit and get closer. I'm not going to go trespassing or anything, but uh, yeah, you can see they got this whole thing over here. But man, look at that. Look at that. That roof still looks really good. That's where you you drive in and check your car, you know, and park and all that kind of stuff. You can see over here. Oh, that's cool. Oops, someone's in there. You can see the old pool is there. Oh, it still looks quite kind of inviting still even. Look at that. At those umbrellas it doesn't look bad I wonder if they're planning to reopen this at all it looks pretty cool yeah they got no trespassing signs everywhere though so I also believe that they did film an episode of Mad Men here uh, when he went to the Howard Johnson's uh, he did they did go to a restaurant though so I'm not sure if they actually used this hotel the lobby and converted it to a restaurant or if they used the uh, actual Howard Johnson's restaurant you know, before it was uh, demolished, because I think that was only maybe three or four years ago that that was torn down. But uh, yeah, not exactly sure, but kind of cool little uh, piece of history there, piece of trivia, Madman trivia. So here it is, uh, 14624 East Dalewood Avenue, Baldwin Park, California. Not sure how long this will be here. Hopefully, this someone revitalizes this into a, a Howard Johnson's like you know retro kind of experience. That would be awesome. But, uh, you know, come check it out while you still can, I guess. Check out this, this awesome A-frame design, orange roof, and the simple Simon and the Pyman weather vane. So here's just another quick shot of it, a little, little different uh, angle. But, uh, yeah, just pretty cool. Glad I got to come check this out before it's demolished or anything because, uh, again, it was really fun learning the history. So, again, I'll have the link to that uh, podcast episode. I believe it's episode 109 with uh, Anthony Samarco. He wrote the uh, book on the history of Howard Johnson. So uh, check that out. Check out his book and uh, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats and all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video and this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay, I believe you if you said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats, and all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button, subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. We're not very good.